the, I have not found in my experience that if you're looking for that kind of thing, which which I, I think more people ought to be, you, you don't find a lot of it in the Jewish community. Um, did you? I, mean, I guess you you can, but I mean, I still go to shul and I do that for right. that that thing. I mean, I don't think Judaism has all the answers. Right. Judaism is good for some things, and yoga is good for other things. Right. Therapy is good for other things. Alexander Technique is good for other things. Right. Yeah. So, I, I won't go into a lot of details, but I was sitting on Mulholland Drive last night, looking out here on the valley. Uh -huh. And uh, it's quite a beautiful experience if people haven't done it, if they live in L.A., to drive Mulholland Drive at night and look out on the city. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful There's thing. There's a full moon out. That's right. Last night, around 7.22, I think, the full moon hit. And now we are in a waning moon. But it's still pretty damn full. Crazy oh. shit happens uh, during the full moon, Luke. For oh. real. Yeah, that's not here, and I've got my camera hidden documented. <laughs> well, I try to stay even as best I can during a full moon because it's been a problem for me in the past. Being arrested a few times during a full moon. I've behaved in ways that are not consistent not with who I want <laughs> to be. your highest ideals. <laughs> with my highest ideals. So, <laughs> so I, I have made an effort. Uh, as I aged, I began to make an effort to be slightly more mindful of when it was a full moon and I found that very helpful. Uh.